Today we have a 42 foot Sunseeker 1995 located down here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This boat has the Caterpillar 3208 engines with about 600 hours. Uh, they're 435 horsepower. And in overall, this is a pretty nice boat. It's a great family boat. Um, owned now by an older family that kids have moved away and mom and dad are looking to get rid of the boat. She's in nice shape. She has a camper back. Um, two stateroom, two head layout. Good forward deck here. Plenty of seating in the aft, in the cockpit, I'm sorry. Collapsible table. This one has a radar, autopilot, uh, bow thruster. It's a little dirty. We've had about a week's worth of rain. So she needs a bath. But overall, not bad. Let's go inside here, take a look. We have the cushions there stored away for this aft sun pad area. Plenty of seating area. Wet bar and a barbecue back here. Uh, she's missing one of the gauges. They're working on that. It stopped working. They're replacing that. It's a bow thruster. Go inside and take a quick look. She has the maple interior. All the carpet is covered. Has an LG flat screen TV. The wood is in nice condition. Sink, everything's covered. All countertop appliances, stove top here, two burner stove. Got a microwave up here. Collapsible table. Leather interior trimmed with a burgundy color. Like I said, the carpet's all covered, headliner's all in good condition. Has some minor things we'll go over. All the way forward, we have a queen berth for the master. There's an end suite head with a shower and a seat. Doubles as the toilet as well. nice condition. Good storage throughout the boat. Hanging lockers on both sides. Looking forward, looking aft from the forward stateroom. We have a separate room back, not just a seating area that fills in with a bed. But we have an actual stateroom back here with a private door. Full size berth underneath. And then its own head with a handheld shower. Nice little boat. Price is right. The hours are low. The engines you can't kill. It's like a little boat for family. Has little things like I was saying, like there's a little separation right here. This could get picked back up. There's a crack on this molding piece right there that you can see. Replace that. Um, looks like it's separating a little bit, or this wall, the wall covering has come apart. Besides that, have a little bit of the wood, the varnish right here. A little bit across the whole top actually, all three of these doors. I don't know if you can see this one as much. It's very light up in this area. You can maybe see from the reflection of the light up above how each line gets separated. This one you can see it a little bit more prevalent. 
and then this one for the refrigerator, the cooler box, you can see it. But besides that, you have a little bit of the headliner coming down here, right in the corner. Nothing major, major. But overall, not a bad boat. This will be a good, friendly, family boat that's secure. Um, you have plenty of space. Do some Bahama trips, some keys, wherever you take it. If you bring it up to the lake, it'll be a great lake boat. Um, however you choose to use it. Plenty of seating. Nice boat. Overall, I like this one. Heisen glass is good. Canvas is good. Paint's nice. It needs a bath. And it needs little things. This is One World Yacht, and I'm out.